Bitcoin defied the odds and broke higher. And it's quite interesting how this ended up happening. I was talking to you yesterday about how this pattern has a 66% chance of breaking down, but we're in an unusual pattern where it looks like momentum could be shifting, right? And I drew this out for you showing how, you know, we're just dumping a little bit less aggressively uh, with this move here, indicating that maybe momentum is shifting. But I told you I wasn't expecting that. Yet Bitcoin just basically formed what I would call your classic fuck you pump, really. That's just that's just what everyone calls it in the space where nothing makes sense, but fuck you anyway. Uh, and Bitcoin's pumping, right? And, and that is uh, quite interesting. And it does reset a few things as well. Um, things that we've got to start reconsidering on this chart about where we could be going next, including, uh, you know, I want to discuss with you if we're going to be heading back down or if this is, uh, you know, rallying back up towards 40k and if my very bullish targets are back in play. You guys already know the deal. I've been in my long position since $21,500, very, very low down, uh, and I'm still in that long position. So I'm back up to about 200,000 near, I don't know, 190k profit on this position, which I'm super, super happy about. Um, you guys know the deal. I didn't actually trade another short position. Uh, I did trade one short position on the way down. I made some money, closed the rest at break even, uh, and I'm still in my long. So I'm happy with what we're seeing here. And really, we know the deal. Um, you know, First Republic Bank, if you haven't heard of it, um, they basically just, you know, their, their, their shares started to crash again. Okay, so here's another look at their chart. This is the same bank that had their issues originally. Uh, I actually entered my long position based off this bank failing. And, um, and, and, and then they basically consolidated for a month. Um, and, and they've dropped down again now. So that's that's what we're looking at with First Republic. Obviously, it's gone. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about the news headlines. I'm not going to bother reading about that because it's completely pointless. Um, the, the fact is the bank collapsed and Bitcoin is continuing to uh, kind of fit that narrative, really, of, um, you know, banks collapsing and then money flowing into Bitcoin, which is unusual. Um, you know, this is exactly what we want. It's just not, I think, what we would have expected necessarily. I don't think that we really had good reason to believe that now, uh, you know, these last, uh, you know, month or two, uh, let me just move my camera back in place. Sorry about that. Um, you know, is, is going to be when Bitcoin finally starts, uh, you know, fulfilling the narrative of, um, of replacing banks. But uh, apparently the price has something different to say, uh, and the price is looking pretty good. So um, that's a good sign. Now, what I would have expected is that gold moves up on the same day and the reason that I'm pointing this stuff out is see like we've got more a weakness with the S&P 500. S&P 500 is dropping down again. Um, you know, the dollar is not doing anything particularly interesting and gold is just kind of holding where it is. But this is not the, the, the setup exactly uh, that, that, that I would that I would have expected, you know, would be bullish for Bitcoin. Um, and this is kind of the thing that I wanted to talk to you about is like, you know, we're, we're seeing, uh, you know, the market collapse um, for, for, for this bank and, you know, in, in tandem Bitcoin rising up. Um, but we know that this is probably happening because of the bank collapsing. And we know that overall, we just don't have the right setup to be bullish right now, um, you know, just according to what usually happens in the market. I'm not saying that, you know, this this is how it has to be, but this is just typically how it is. You know, um, we, we still have way too many long positions right now for retail traders, uh, you know, and, and even Bybit is majority long right now as well. It looks like everyone just wants to forget about the, uh, the dump that we had. And I'm not saying that we can't keep rising up. I want to be super clear with you guys. I'm in a long position, right? I'm making a lot of money if, if the price of Bitcoin goes up. I want it to go up. If my analysis could somehow influence these markets, I'd be the most bullish guy you've ever seen in your life. Uh, you know, I, I'd, I'd make the other shit posting YouTubers on here uh, look like they're fucking... Alessio Rastani or some other very thorough good analyst. You know, that's that's how bullish I'd be. Jetpack strapped to my fucking back in every single video, you know, if, if I could talk the markets into going higher. But the fact is, I can't. And I've got to be realistic about where we are. And we are back at resistance. We're back at resistance from... A weird place. Uh, it's caused by a bank collapsing. Okay, look, if more banks collapse and, and this keeps, you know, kind of following that domino structure of just falling one after the other, then yeah, you know, this is this is a good time for Bitcoin. But uh, I don't want to be making that kind of assumption right now. And here's the deal. Um, you know, if we take a look at like what we've actually done here, we have broken the Ichimoku cloud here on the one hour time frame uh, and actually on the four hour time frame as well. So that is huge. Uh, interestingly, we broke out of this um, kind of right at the perfect time. Um, you know, if we wait 
waited a little bit longer, this cloud would have gotten bigger um, and it would have been a lot harder to break our resistance area, generally speaking. Uh, but in this case, the fact that we broke it basically right at the beginning is great. Like this is where the Ichimoku cloud was weakest. Um, and, and so we've done incredibly well there. Um, this actually, this whole area would have been really good for long positions. Um, this is basically what I spoke to you guys about previously where I had a box drawn that looked something a little bit like this. And I was like, hey, look, you know, Bitcoin might end up doing something like this and then coming back up and rallying to the sky uh, because that's what happened previously, right? And you guys are going to remember me talking about that if you've been subscribed to this YouTube channel. Um, let me just show you that really quickly because we're actually, we're, we're potentially, we potentially have this back in play right now. So this is something that's worth highlighting. This kind of uh, pattern that we did right here back in 2020, uh, you know, we fell down to 3K, rallied up really nicely, consolidated for a very long time, blew up, and then we just back tested the highs this is the thing is we had some highs over here, we back tested it, found support, and then it was just off to the races. That was it. Um, you know, history was made from that point. We've never returned back down to those price levels, right? So that could be in play again now, uh, which is one of the things that's definitely quite exciting about this chart. Uh, you know, if we go back to this chart right here, you can see just how high we are above that level now. Um, and so one of the other implications of that is going to be, yes, as you can see with this chart, that this area could turn into support again. Um, you know, and, uh, and and so for a potential long position, it's looking pretty good to me. Uh, the problem is that there's an Ichimoku cloud providing resistance here, you know, and uh, and that's not great. There's more resistance up ahead. Um, we're, we're, this is the thing that I think people are going to start to forget now. Um, you know, look, uh, I I want to I want to ground us in, uh, in in two very very important facts. The first fact is we're now back up to thirty thousand dollar resistance. Okay, which as we know is probably the strongest area of resistance that Bitcoin has on this chart. It's pretty hard to argue that someone's going to try, but it's pretty hard to argue that that is a, a, a statement that is 100% rooted in, in fact. And, um, and at the same time, uh, we're, we've got too many people going long. We've got retail, the people who generally lose are still, uh, I mean, so heavily long. And, um, I want to I really want to make this point for you guys. If you go back to my previous videos, if you've been subscribed for a while, you're going to know that, you know, on this whole rally up, uh, you know, pretty much from the beginning, um, retail was majority short. Uh, you know, retail was very bearish in the market and it only happened to switch at the top. Uh, and it was only up here, really, uh, that we started to see very high fear and greed index numbers here on the four flies dashboard and, uh, you know, a, a very high uh, ratio of longs to shorts, okay, where we now have still 1.5 long positions for every short uh, for retail traders right now, heavily, heavily skewed um, in, in the long direction right now. Um, you know, it, it's only at the top that that changed. And, you know, I, and I can't stress this enough that like, this is where uh, the dumb people that typically lose money are finally starting to become bullish. Um, that That's, that's just, uh, it's just a fact, guys, you know, I mean, you know, you can't, Again, some people will try and argue this, but, you know, the fact is the whole rally up, all right, retail was bearish. And now that we're at our very strong area of resistance, retail is bullish. Um, and, and, and the whole rally up retail was losing money. Uh, generally, when the market drops, uh, retail loses money as well. Generally, when the market rises, retail loses money. Uh, you know, I mean, they just lose. They're the 90% that, that, that lose 90% of their money within 90 days. That's just how it is. That, that's just a fact of the market, you know. And when you can acknowledge these facts and understand them, then actually the market becomes quite easy to trade, right? That's why I was able to take on uh, my long position here on Bybit, um, you know, was because I saw that retail were so ridiculously bearish when we were down here. But the only thing we did, and, and, th and this is really important, the only thing that Bitcoin actually did here was it found support. Bitcoin went down to a support area, which we knew technically was very important because it represents the $20,000 area. But we also had, I want to remind you guys, we also had the 200 day moving average. Okay, look at this right here. The 200 day moving average with this orange line, one of the most important support levels on this chart, full stop period for you Americans, one of the most important support levels on this chart. We had that um, down there as well, you know, so it was the most obvious place for the price to bounce. Yet retail was bearish. Uh, they always get things wrong, guys. Like when, when it's when we're at a support level, retail is bearish. When we're at a resistance level, retail is bullish. Uh, you know, do, do you want to do you want to stand by them as another mindless infantry soldier that gets slaughtered at the first sign of battle? 
I don't care, go ahead if you want to, uh, but the fact of the matter for me is that this is an area of resistance uh, and people are too damn bullish right now, so I'm not changing my mind. I'm not, this, this little pump here, as a result of a bank collapsing, one isolated incident, look, okay, if more banks collapse, Bitcoin's probably going to keep going up, I'm not complaining, all right, I've been, I, you know, I, I've, I've always been somebody that holds my money in Bitcoin, so my investments will go up, my trade that I've got will go up, uh, I'm winning if the price goes up, I want it to go up, uh, but again, the technicals, they're not showing me that sign. And, and by the way, if you're wondering why I haven't closed my position yet, uh, it's because I haven't, I also haven't gotten the signs that this trend is exhausted, um, you know? And, and so what I've been saying, what I, what I wanted to see, and I still want, is that pullback down to 25 to reset the market a little bit. And then I would definitely be expecting, uh, you know, to rally into the 30K range a little bit more. And that's why I haven't closed my long position yet. Uh, I also just haven't seen enough confirmation to tell me that we're bearish. Um, you know, we're, we're, I'm certainly getting confirmation to tell me that, you know, it's not smart to open long positions right now. That's very obvious, uh, you know, but uh, but I, I'm not quite at that stage where uh, I, I've been given enough reason to exit a profitable position, especially since uh, I've already secured so much profit on this. I mean, this is literally what I entered my position with. I've doubled my money no matter what. Uh, and then no matter what, my stop loss uh, is, is in a profit as well. So I stand to make money uh, even if everything in the world goes against me now, which is why I'm super comfortable with this position. Of course, I traded it on Bybit, which you can check out using the link down below. Uh, and if you deposit uh, $100 using my link down below, you're also going to be entered into this giveaway uh, where you can win an iPhone 14 Pro Max completely free. All you've got to do is deposit $100. Uh, and if you're interested in the cash bonuses Bybit is offering you, the very cool thing about this is they're going to give you up to $30,000 for free uh, just for signing up using my link and starting to trade. So uh, once you do that, once you start trading using my link, uh, they're going to deposit more money in your account and you can trade with it. You can make money with it. And if you make any profits, you can withdraw those profits too using the free money they gave you. So uh, that is a very, very cool offer. And it's super quick to take advantage of you literally just come to this link in the description and it's like a 20 second sign up process super super easy so this is well worth checking out to get extra ammunition in these markets because you can also throw that money into the altcoin markets as well there's a lot going on here uh, i've been making videos on the altcoins uh, every single day we've been pumping them out uh, check it out with that top link in the description um, just made some uh, really really important analysis on arb actually uh, and uh, matic as well they were two of my favorite videos from yesterday so go check them out if you haven't had a chance to already uh, but you know, with what I'm seeing on this chart right now, uh, I think the picture is pretty clear that, you know, I mean, short term, everything I've set aside, uh, you know, we should still have support now. And, and that is really, really good news. Uh, you know, this area should act as support again if we do manage to come down here. Uh, and, and I will expect it to act as support because even though I'm not convinced by this uh, rally, uh, I'm also not suddenly going to start ignoring support and resistance levels. And what I know is that on a long time frame, this is a really important resistance levels. But on a short time frame, uh, this is a support area, which naturally you might expect some small bounces, uh, you know, before something like that happens. I don't really know. Um, I'm hearing whispers that this is, you know, Bitcoin trying to push up to 32,000, uh, you know, and then we pull back. And, you know, my, my, my response to that is quite straightforward. Um, if you're hearing stuff like that, uh, then you're probably, you know, I mean, you're probably just getting false information <laughs> because you're never going to fucking know. Uh, I, I don't know why uh, so many people who, quite frankly, are just normal people like you and me think that they have some sort of special edge or insider information. You don't, I promise you. Uh, would it make sense that we go above 31? Uh, you know, we, we swing above this high uh, and then and then come back down. Yeah, I mean, that that's your classic deviation that Bitcoin loves to produce. So it's something that makes sense. But I mean, you, you definitely can't say that that's what the market is aiming to do right now. Uh, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, people have, have this like notion in their head that every single second of every price movement is is manipulated or, or something like that. And it's it's not uh, that's that's just not how it's not it's not that highly manipulated. Um, so, you know, I'm going to be looking to see these support areas. I'm still watching this resistance. If we clear this high, uh, you know, I mean, that 32K idea is, is certainly possible, but I wouldn't be worried about it. Uh, so I'd expect Bitcoin to go significantly higher. Uh, that to me would mean that whatever we did here was, I mean, whatever, I guess we just brush it off as one of the weird things Bitcoin does. It's almost like a, an irrational teenager growing up 
going through puberty and like sometimes they're just going to do weird shit and you kind of you know and it's annoying and it's rude and disrespectful but you kind of just you know like well what what can you do you know i mean you just that's just part of what you get sometimes and uh, and, and that's that's normal for i mean this range was was one of those things this to be honest this dump was one of those things too it's just one of the i mean you know it was still a bit too aggressive of a dump i mean i love the level that came down to it. it made perfect sense to go long and that's why i did but at the same time what the fuck i mean you know that this was your classic fuck you you know dump uh you know and, and now we've got the opposite on the upside so um you know i'm going to continue to watch this uh especially with sentiment this is the main thing i need to keep an eye on the fear and greed index uh, along a short ratio um you know good traders right now good traders are pretty bullish in the market uh, a little bit too much you know and that's the thing is like i'm just not I'm just not the guy that gets swept away in the hype, you know, it's just not me. So, um, you know, I mean, I just want to take a quick look at what my Twitter feed is looking like right now. See what we're getting uh, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, charts that people are posting. Um, nothing nothing particularly crazy, but there, there was a lot of bullish. Here's a little, you know, bullish chart here. We're not getting anything crazy right now. Um, no, one's, no one's really talking about these ideas, but, you know, I mean... Um, generally what i did see when i woke up and saw this pump was uh was that yeah i mean like even twitter is getting pretty excited with this so uh you know it, it, it's you know when, when everybody around me that i can see is bullish and we're literally at the most fucking obvious resistance area um i'm, I'm not saying you know i'm not trying to make a conclusion here because i haven't made a conclusion for myself um you know but at the same time i mean you know i'm, I'm gonna sticking to page one chapter one of the ta books has served me very well you know, that's that's my take that's my piece on that so uh I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna remain skeptical i am uh i was looking at short positions obviously i can't do that now i can't open a short position now because the price is too high uh you know to play a continuation short so my short right now if i did play one would be shorting this resistance area and that's not something i want to do either none of these setups are ideal and you know the thing that a lot of people miss is like they kind of think that they have to trade everything Guys, um, you know, if, if the long setup isn't ideal and the short setup isn't ideal, then you just wait. It, it really is that simple. It's not the end of the world. There's an unlimited number of trading opportunities. They're always going to come. And I just like to trade the things that are easy. Uh, you know, I mean, fuck me. I'm just, uh, I'm just not looking to complicate my life. I became a trader so I can have a simple life and enjoy myself. And I don't want to be stuck in front of a screen all day trading bullshit when I could just wait for a nice, healthy, safe opportunity and then just kind of quietly go pick up the cash sitting in the corner of the room and come back to my seat and i'm chilling uh you know so that's my take that's my take that's what i like to do uh check out bybit for your 30k in cash and okx as well again the very cool thing about okx is offer with their 30k is uh you don't really have to do much you get up to ten thousand dollars just for registering uh with okx it's linked in the description as well you'll see it uh right at the top of the description as well you'll see it right here this is the OKX link for 30k in rewards, uh, you know, and uh, you get 10k just for registering. But when you deposit $50, you get another mystery box worth 10k again, uh, you know, just just for depositing $50. So uh, once you've signed up and deposited that minimal amount of money, uh, you're already looking at, you know, up to 20k in rewards. Uh, and, and then you can uh, you can trade to unlock the remaining 10k. Uh, it's a really cool offer. It's a lot easier to get. So uh, definitely check it out. This is, again, just another very strong exchange. Uh, Bybit, OKX, both phenomenal exchanges. They've both been around for a long time. They've both got extremely good reputations. And uh, again, I mean, you guys know the deal with me. Um, I'm, I'm super serious about my trading, um, you know, and, uh, and, and by extension, I'm serious about where I trade. And, uh, and, and these two... Uh, are, are definitely good enough for me. So I'm happy to be with them. Uh, and you can check them out uh, using those links down below. If you have enjoyed this video, you know exactly what to do. Hit up the like, subscribe, tick the bell, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you all on the altcoin channel where I'm going to be uploading the, uh, the altcoin analysis videos right now, right after this one. So yeah, see you all there. Cheers.